Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can add a loading indicator or a loading symbol, animated loading symbol whenever we are loading, wherever there is a delay in the getting the data from the APIs or from the database server. So let's begin. So we already have one uh, Blazor server project. Let's run it. Okay, so when we click on fetch data, we are able to pull the data from the API. So we have the product name, this entire grid view is there. But if we see the coding of this and go on the grid view dot razor in the HTML, we see that we have added some loading sign here and that text is displayed. Instead of the text, we need some, we need to add some loading animation. So for that, what we have to add do is we have to create one div here and that div on that div we have to add one class this class will be loader okay so this loader class we have to add the css the style for it inside the ww root here we have the site.css at the end of this we have to add one CSS and that CSS simply is loader and the keyframe to spin it to animate it we have the spin so here we can add the border top all this animation is there now let's run it and click on fetch data here for some small few seconds we could see some loading sign so now let's add some delay so in the product controller here we will simply add some delay using threading thread dot sleep four seconds and we'll inherit the system dot threading that system dot threading is adding here now let's run it click on fetch data so here for four seconds we can see the loading indicator and to change the color or some style of it you can simply we can make it like three seconds this animation and uh, we can change the color to light gray to some some if you want some black on border if we want red whatever color we want we can simply change it here so now we can see the changed color in the animation if you want some fast animation then simply we have to increase the spin to one second let's run it again click on fetch data so here we can see it is spinning a little bit fast so this loading indicator we can simply add this div wherever we want and uh, this style we have added in the common library which is inherited in the entire project so it's available everywhere so that's it for today you can like comment subscribe if you have any doubt you can just drop a comment and let us know thanks for watching the video